Hi, I'm Lena, and today we're going to be talking about Neuromus. So, y'all might be wondering, Lena, what is Neuromus? Well, let me tell you, a Neuromyth is simply a myth about the brain. The Neuromyth we'll be discussing today is the myth of left brain versus life brain. <coughs> so, you might have heard someone say, oh, I am just so left brain, I can never paint a picture. Or, ma math? You want me to do math? I'm right brain. I can't do that. Well, what you are hearing is a neuromyth. It's completely false. This myth originated in the 1960s when neuroscientist Roger W. Sperry discovered that cutting the corpus callosum in ap epileptic patients reduced seizures. So y'all may be wondering, Lena, what is the corpus callosum? Well, let's take a look. Corpus callosum is a large bundle of white matter, which serves as a communication between both sides of the brain. Now, back to Sperry. Sperry believed that his study evidence that the two sides of the brain um, perform different tasks because patients could name objects processed by the right side of the brain or processed by the left side of the brain when their corpus callosum was cut. This myth developed into split brain theory, which then transformed into the left brain versus right brain myth. This myth gained traction due to the industry of self-help books, personality tests, and educational tools based on if you're left brain or right brain. So be honest with me now. Have you ever taken a personality test that told you if you're left brain or right brain? Yeah, one of these. Don't worry, I have too. And I remember, I fully proved it. But remember, this is a neuromyth. It's completely false, no matter what the BuzzFeed quizzes may say. Though there's some truth in that different parts of the brain are the main point for specific functions, there is no specific evidence to prove that people who are more logical use their left brain or more creative use their right brain. This has been proved through many scans of many different people's brains. An example of such studies is one conducted by the University of Utah. This study scanned a bunch of people's brains over a wide spectrum of personalities, some that believe they fell into the left brain personality or the right brain personality. They scanned these brains and they showed that no one side was more active than the other, regardless of what type of personality they believe they had. So that myth has been debunked. Even more evidence to debunk this split brain theory is that people like super talented musicians have abnormally connected brains and their corpus callosums are larger than normal. Remember, the corpus callosum is the part which connects the brain. Um, and Albert Einstein, you know the man, Eureka, famous scientist, big white hair, equals MC squared, that's the guy. He had an extremely large and connected and unusually fibrous corpus callosum. By believing this neuromyth, one falls into what is known as the Barnum Effect. The Barnum Effect is a phenomena that when people are presented with generic depictions of personality presented as individualized to oneself, they are extremely likely to believe them, even if everyone else in the room got that. Those myths may seem silly. It is really important that we work to debunk it, because when someone grows up believing that they can't do something based on the side of their brain that is the most dominant, they limit themselves. When kids are told that they can't do math because they're so right brain, they are going to be completely less inclined to pursue those endeavors and just believe that they're bad at it and they can't fix it. In reality, our brain is totally moldable and that if we work hard at something, we can improve. I want you you watching this video to remember three things when you hear someone talk about this neuromyth next. Remember that number one, it is an anatomically incorrect description of the brain. Number two, that when you reduce um, math or art to such one-sided things that you neglect that math could be so creative when you have to solve a problem and that art can require meticulous planning when needing to paint a beautiful picture. And three, that when you hear someone say this, they're limiting themselves. So I want you, next time you hear someone say that they're left-brained or right-brained and thus can't do something, that that is a neuromyth. And it is now your job, since you're educated about it now, to help them move past this false belief. Thanks for watching.